Greetings and salutations. As we read about the Texas legislature, I want to take a minute to go over the legislative committee system. Majority of the work done in any legislature is completed in a committee, which demonstrates the significance and weight of committee appointments. More on that in just a moment. In committee, appointed members decide the significance of proposed legislation. Introduced legislation entering the committee frequently looks vastly different than the final product sent to the floor of the House and Senate, as the committee members will disregard or significantly edit the original proposal. Committees range from essentially permanent to temporary. So, without further delay, let's begin. The first type of committee we will dive into is the Standing Committee, which are basically permanent. This type of committee deals with the current and ongoing issues facing Texas and possess the required jurisdiction to establish policy within the area they are responsible. So, for example, the Property Tax Standing Committee has the power to make changes to our property taxes. You may recall that Texas is a very diverse state that faces issues ranging from agriculture, business, to education, and health. In the 86th legislative session, the Texas legislature created the Agriculture, Business and Commerce, Criminal Justice, Finance, Education, Health and Human Services, Higher Education, and Transportation Committees, along with eight other committees, to address the respected issues and proposed legislation pertaining to those specific committees. The second type of committee we should become familiar with are select committees, also known as special committees. The Texas legislature has the power to establish or create special committees to deal with unusual or special situations. For example, when the Texas House passes a bill that differs from the Texas Senate regarding an issue, a conference committee is created. Here, members from both chambers meet to hammer out the differences between the two bills. The revised version of the bill is then sent to the floor of the House and Senate for debate and vote. There are three potential outcomes. If the revised bill is supported by both chambers, it is sent to the governor for their signature or veto. If the revised bill is highly contested, it will be killed on the floor. And the House and Senate will ask to create another conference committee to address the differences again. So, committee work is very important for the legislative process. But who decides which member serves on what committee? I'm glad you asked. The Texas Speaker of the House is the presiding officer of the Texas House of Representatives. As such, they possess the power to appoint not only all committee chairs, but all representatives to House committees. The Speaker also has the power to refer all bills to a committee. You can imagine, right, politics being played here. If the Speaker of the House disagrees with the proposed piece of legislation, they could send it to a committee with members who agree with the Speaker. Likewise, if the Speaker of the House wants it passed, they could send it to a committee with members who, again, completely agree with the Speaker. After all, a prestigious committee appointment could help a legislator's re-election bid. On the other side of the Texas legislature, the lieutenant governor is the presiding officer of the Texas Senate. The lieutenant governor is also known as the president of the Senate. Here, the lieutenant governor possesses power very similar to the Speaker of the Texas House. So, regarding committees, 
the lieutenant governor can appoint not only all committee chairs, but all senators to Senate committees. The lieutenant governor also has the power to refer all bills to a committee. Like I said, very similar powers to the Speaker of the Texas House. With the power to appoint committee members and referring bills to committees, this is why the most powerful positions in Texas politics are the lieutenant governor and the Speaker of the Texas House. Indeed, committee work is important to the legislative process. While most bills are killed in committees, the legislative process allows adequate time for debate and full consideration. The ability to appoint committee members is a significant power that the Texas Speaker of the House and the Lieutenant Governor possesses. But we can also see how politics can interfere with the overall legislative process. Regardless of the politics, it is vital for Texans to be aware of what is happening in the Texas legislature so that we can hold our elected representatives and senators accountable through the ballot box. After all, the overall power comes from us, the people. This concludes the chapter of video.